as nice as it's been the last few days, I thought by the time I get this done, there won't be any snow, but snowing again today, and uh, just got back from town, the, my chains seem a little bit too tight, so I went and got some half links to put in them. Well, see if it'll start. <laughs> Good ya. Good ya, good ya. It's off, it's going. <laughs> get, on your knees. get a pillow or something. <laughs> really hard on your knees. <laughs> that diamond plate digging in, but it works. was fun. Now I need to finish it up by putting the handlebars on it and kind of a cage in the back for a uh, gas can and tools and whatnot. Um, a little bit later, that was yesterday, a little bit later in the day my neighbor stopped by and he noticed a couple of problems that I hadn't seen and one of them was because I got it supported here and then in the front here says it's flexing quite a little bit right here in between so I'm going to put a brace in there and then a bigger problem is uh, my my motor deck is flexing and that he said could be a problem with the uh, could cause me troubles with the chain jumping and wear out things a little bit quicker so I got to take the engine off and beef up that plate that it's sitting on and then put a brace in the middle here someplace. Um, those are pretty minor problems. I'm sure I'll find more before I'm done. But that's what I'm up to today. Get that done and 
some handlebars and I can use it for real. Uh, another friend of mine, <laughs> he brought me by this little guy today. He, he's not he's not real happy. He's thinks for sure he's going to become a hat, but lucky for him, he's not. I'll take him down river or someplace and turn him loose away from people. That he is a little ornery. Yeah, if it wasn't for that cage, he'd be kind of painful, I think. Like I say, he's lucky. He's going to get turned loose. I'm not going to do him in. Keep me warm over here by the fire. Well, yesterday I got these plates here put on. That should help to support the mount motor and keep this... Um, this whole top rail from bouncing uh, because before it was only supported on both ends and uh, that was kind of part of the problem I think but for whatever reason I don't know if you can see it or not but the when you squeeze the chain I have a little bit of flex in that plate that the engine is sitting on I'm not 100% sure how to fix that. I ended up, I welded this piece of angle iron underneath it yesterday to help stiffen everything, but it still, still flexes just a little bit. And I don't know, maybe that's not a bad thing. It, having a little bit of give might actually be good, but I don't know enough about these to know if it is or not. So, anyway, I guess what I'll do is... Uh, build the handlebars so I can try this thing and uh, worry about that if it becomes a problem later. Got to looking at the tunnel from the old snowmobile and uh, the running boards found a use for them. They, they're going to make a pretty good little box. They got this rounded edge and everything and some holes and stuff to let the snow out and uh, Maybe a bungee cord here and there. They'll cut them up and uh, just kind of tuck them up underneath the edge of the metal, the diamond plate here. So, rivet them, pop rivet them down, put some ends on them. That'll make a good nice little box for the stuff. I lose a little bit of space here, but this is taller than the engine if I put it back into here. So, there's still enough room here to put something. Being old sideboards, I was just kind of scrap for the aluminum. That turned out all right, if I do say so myself. Now I got to tackle the handlebars and. Been thinking about that while I've been doing this. I was going to go off of this bracket here. I'm not really sure that that would be the best um, angle for this. I might come off of here and build a bracket a little bit taller. But I think what happens, the uh, looking at the commercial ones, 
the handlebars are mounted fairly high and I think maybe the reason for that is because these things are so tippy that you have a little more leverage to hold it up straight but I'm just guessing at that I don't never been around these before not real light but it's a lot lighter than a snowmobile I don't think it'd be bad to load it in the back of a pickup by yourself you'd have to uh, load the rear end in first probably and then lift in the heavy end the motor end but not too bad I think this thing's gonna be pretty practical <laughs> if it'll just go who knows I think it'll go but I don't know how much power or anything. I hope it has enough. <laughs> 